my pencil that have come out. Welcome neighbours, if there's neighbours as well. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on behalf of professionals Von Turner and Knox. My name's Russell Bartlett, I'll be your auctioneer for today. Uh, by my side, Selvin Kennepin, Director of Von Turner Knox Professionals. A number of our team are here who can help you with any questions or your bidding here today. Buyers, if you're looking for a home that rarely comes onto the market, and this one is rare, it's a one owner home. First time on the market. With immaculate presentation both inside and out. With a thoughtful floor plan, including abundant living spaces, five bedrooms, master with ensuite and retreat. Luxurious bath bathroom for the family. And a place where you can move in and set up without having to spend a cent. This is a home that many people dream of. To make your life even more comfortable, the home offers open fireplace in the lovely family room, ducted heating, split system heating and cooling, evaporative cooling, abundant storage, a private backyard, and of course, remote double garage. The tasteful and quality renovation that you've seen today, buyers, will underpin the value that this home has into the future. And of course, we always talk about location in real estate, and this home has a fabulous location, not only in the classic tree-lined Wonturner Street, which I'm sure the neighbours enjoy as much as this home does, but also the quality of schools nearby, the Knox School, Templeton Primary School, shopping at Westfield Knox, and of course, with an easy access to East Link and the city if you need be. So while you consider the obvious merits of 18 Melpura, Melpura Crescent here in Wonturna, ladies and gentlemen, I'll run you through the documents, then I'll ask for questions, and then I'll take you to the bidding, which is what we're all here for. Should you be the successful bidder here today, buyers, you'll be expected to pay a 10% deposit on the fall of the contract across my hand once we've reached reserve. The contract is an unconditional contract as it's unconditional to finance and terms for settlement in 60 days. I'll remind you at this point, buyers, there's no cooling off period for sale by public auction. The land on offer today is more particularly described as lot 66 on LP 117445, volume 9202, folio 690, or as the postie knows it, 18 Melpira Crescent, Turner 3152. The title shows a rectangular-ish shaped allotment with street front boundary of approximately 24 metres, a rear boundary of 21.49 metres, an eastern boundary of 37.8 and a western boundary of 33.46. All in all, approximately 658 square metres. The great Australian dream. The vendor statement attached to and forming part of the contract shows the property to be included in a general residential zone, Schedule 2, under the Knox planning scheme, with outgoings by way of rates and charges to the city of Knox of just over $2,000 per annum and southeast water of approximately $670 per annum. All services are connected to the property, gas, water, sewage, telephone and electricity. There are no orders, proposals or restrictions affecting the property. Chattels and fixtures included in the sale are all fixed floor coverings, electric light fittings, window furnishings. Before we proceed to the bidding buyers, I'm duty bound to read the rules governing auctions under the Sale of Land Act 2014. And they are, this auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions have been made available prior to inspection before the start of the auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting bids or offers for a property once the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors have set a reserve price. As auctioneer, I'll indicate bidders, I'll indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids and prohibits major disruptions by bidders and prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and provides fines under legislation for this conduct. 
the rules permit vendor bids. The words I'll use during the auction to indicate that I'm making a vendor bid are vendor bid. By law, only I as the auctioneer may make a vendor bid. Um, don't be too concerned about vendor bids, ladies and gentlemen. It really just means I, I'm going to lead you in the direction that we need to go as far as the price. There are the documents, ladies and gentlemen. Are there any questions that we can answer for you? I thought not. Fairly straightforward contract. Well, buyers, a great address, a great location, an exceptional home. So now, it's up to you. We have a reasonable vendor, a lovely home in a fantastic location. It's over to you, ladies and gentlemen. Start me off where you will, an opening bid. It's always tough to get it started. People always feel a bit nervous, but don't be frightened. Just get me started. You probably won't buy it with the first bid, but we'll get it going. 850. 850. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the bidding, and we'll take that 850. At 850,000, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll take a $10,000 in the rise. At $850,000 now, take me to 860 if you will. At 850 now, at $850,000, looking for 10 on top, take me to 860 if you like. At 850, we have. At 850,000, looking for another 10, take me to 860. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a high bidder here on my right. If I pass the property in below reserve, remember, the highest bidder has the first right to talk to the vendor about hiring the property if I pass it in. Just keep that in mind. So be the last person to have your hand up. That's the important place to be. At $850,000 now, looking for 10 on top, take me to 860. At 850 now, at 860,000, 50,000. At 850, I'm keen, I can't buy it though. At 850,000 we have. At 850, looking for another 10 on top if you like. At 850 once. 860. 860. Can I say 870? 860. I can say 870. At 870 now, sir, against you. At against you at 870 at the front. At 870 thousand dollars now. At 880. Can I say at 880 thousand dollars now? At 880 we have. Can I say 890? At 880. Another 10. At 880 thousand dollars. High bidder here. At 880 thousand dollars. What to come back in? At 90. Thank you for the bid. At 890 thousand dollars now. At 890 now. Can I say 900? At 890 now, at 890,000. At 890,000, another 10, round me up to nine if you like. At $890,000. At 890, what? At 890, twice. 900 we have. Good bid, sir, at 900. At nine, I have 900 already here, Tim. It'll have to be 910. 910, 910 can I say? At 900 now, just confirm that bid for me, Tim, at 910. 910, thank you very much. At $910,000 now. At $910, looking for another 10 on top, take me to 920 if you like. At 910 we have. At 910 at the front. At 910. Sir, can I say 920? 920, thank you. At 920 now. Good bid at 920, ladies and gentlemen, at $920,000. At 920 we've got. At 920, take me to 930 if you like. At 920, I'm barely bid. At 920 we have. At 920, what's? At twice at 920, high bidder here. At 900, 930 we have. At 930 now. At 930 is the bid. $930,000 the call, looking for 940 if we can. At 930 now. At 930,000. Looking for another 10, take me to 940. At $930,000. What? 930 twice? 935. Is it five? I'll take five. Only because you've asked for it, Jasmine. Thank you. 935. At 9.35 now, give everybody else the same opportunity with a five if you like. At $935,000 to my left. At $935,000 now, take me to 9.40. At 9.35. At $935,000, looking for 9.40 if it's there. Bids being held here at 9.35. What? Twice at 9.35. High bidder to my left. If we pass it in at 9.35, ladies and gentlemen. This potential buyer will be able to negotiate directly with the vendor at the vendor's reserve to the exclusivity of every other buyer. At $935,000 now. Third and final call at nine. At 940. At 940 now. Good bid, sir, at $940,000. At $940, back against you, sir, at 940. Take another five if you like. 945 we can. At $945,000. 
at 9.45. Good fast bidding. It's good bidding at 9.45. At $945,000 now, another five on top, make it 9.50. At 9.45. 9.45. Once and twice again at 9.45. High bidder here. 9.45. Can't knock it down. But he'll have first right. First bite of the cherry at 9.45. Third and final call. At 9.45. At 9.45. Bit of thoughtful going on there, bit of thought at 9.45. Third and final call. We're all done at 9.45, Tim. Yep. 950 now. At $950,000. At $950,000 we've got at the front. $950,000 now. Another five. Round it up to nine fifty five. At nine fifty now. At $950,000. We'll go in again, ladies and gentlemen, at nine fifty. Nothing there. At nine fifty, sir. Five. It's always tough, I know.
Thanks for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Tim, if you could just confirm your buyer's bid at 950. Yep. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, property's not on the market as yet, but I will say, and I have real estate terms, we're pretty, pretty close. So if I receive no further bid, we'll pass the property in after I've called it down to these people here, and they'll have first right to negotiate directly with the vendor at the vendor's reserve. So I've confirmed the bid at 950,000. I'll put it back to you, ladies and gentlemen. We're at $950,000 for the first call. Five, 955. Welcome back in, sir, at 955. At 950,000, can I say 960, Tim? Give your people the chance back in again. At 955 now. At $955,000, looking for 960. At 955 once. At 950 twice. High bidder over here. At 955, $955,000 high bid. Third and final call. 1,000, is that okay? I'll take 1,000 at this point. At 956, at 956,000. Sometimes we do have to sort of crawl up to the reserve, but that's okay. At 956, seven, sir. At seven, 957, at 957,000. It's not a hard number to remember, Tim, and come back in with another one. Take it to 958, at 957, at 957,000. What? Twice at 957. Third and final call, 957,000, round it up to 960. Yeah, bid for 960 here. 960 here, good bid, good bid at this point. At 960,000, at 960 now, at $960,000. I'll take a one if you like, sir, at 960. Put you back in the front. 961. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just bear with me for one more moment. Seek further instructions from the vendor. Aren't we glad it's not raining? Well, half of you wouldn't be here if it was raining anyway, would you? Thanks for your patience once again, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing like a bit of theatre at an auction. Uh, our instructions are pretty clear now, ladies and gentlemen. The property's on the market at 960000 Or if we receive no further bid, there's our new owners here in front of us. Tim, just confirm the bid at 960. Yep. Excellent. On the market at 960, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. At 960 now. At $960,000. I'll take a one if you like, sir. Put you back in front at 961. I have $960,000 now. Back in at one. Could be their last bid at 960. You'll have it for 961. You never know. First call at 960,000. Second call at 960. At 961 now. Take another five. Oh, there's an old line. It's only 
At nine hundred and sixty one thousand dollars now. Nine sixty one and a half we've got. At nine sixty one and a half. Yep, nine hundred and sixty one thousand five hundred. Nine sixty one and a half is the call. At nine sixty seven. Nine sixty seven. Nine six seven. That's a very good bit at this stage yeah, yeah. of the game. Huh? Sure. We're at nine sixty one and a half. Nine sixty two. Nine sixty two. Nine sixty two. Okay. I've got knock on Tim, Tim, there is a rule in the auction that says you can't retract a bid. Yeah. Okay, nine sixty two we've got. At nine hundred and sixty two thousand now to my right. At nine sixty two. First call. At nine sixty two and a half now. At nine sixty two and a half. Nine hundred and sixty two thousand five hundred dollars. At nine hundred and sixty two thousand five hundred for the first call. At nine hundred and sixty two thousand five hundred dollars for the second call. Nine hundred and sixty two thousand five hundred dollars. Nine sixty three. Sixty three we have. At nine hundred and sixty three thousand dollars now. At nine sixty three now. There's some urgency in the bidding now, ladies and gentlemen. It's obviously going to finish shortly, I would suggest. At nine hundred and sixty three. Nine sixty three. <laughs> At nine hundred and sixty three thousand. Back against you, sir. Nine hundred and sixty three thousand. At nine sixty three. First call at 963,000. Second call at 963,000. Lots of name going over there. Are you happy to are you happy to let it go, sir? Are you happy for me to knock it down to these people? Are you? You're not gonna when I knock it down, you're not gonna say, geez, I'm gonna make one more bid. Maybe you can and how much longer we have to look and oh I know it's painful. It's terrible when you've got to do that. Mm. But it's up to you. Another five hundred? We're probably going to get five hundred. So are you out? So I can knock it down. Third and final call. At nine hundred and sixty-three thousand dollars. You happy with a death knock bid? Five hundred. I think you want to. I'm sure. I think you do. Okay. Well, I appreciate your bidding. I appreciate your spirit of bidding. Third and final call at nine hundred and sixty-three thousand dollars. Well done. Real silent. Sir, thank you for your early bidding. Appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm selling for $963,000. Selling. Selling. Sold. Give your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, the new owners. Lady of Ontario President will turn us out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attendance. We appreciate it very much. Thank you for your spirit of bidding. Have a great weekend. Thank you very much.